right, this is part two. Let's get down to this shit. Can't wait. I'm ecstatic. Oh. All right, well, why does she sing it really interesting? Hold on. Well, Mark Miro is the kind of boxer guy. That's his fighting style. He implements and mixes some boxing, kind of like Wade Barrett. Except this guy puts more of an effort into revealing that style. And it's not bare knuckle style, I think, that he specializes in. The gloves. It's implied that he knows he's used to gloves being on. Boxing gloves, that is. Anyway. At the end of that match, uh, he gets the Stone Cold Stunner treatment, which, all that happens. Boo-hoo. I don't really care about that guy anyway. I mean, you guys can post a comment if Mark Miro is like some sort of badass and I should appreciate him, but I don't really see what's the big deal. So you got... The artist formerly known as Gold Dust versus It's like this funk guy. Damn. Hold up. Oh, flash funk. I was about to say the Funkasaurus. Or Godfather, but yeah, these are... it gets a little redundant over time. Maybe I'm just being xenophobic and racist, but nah, that's kind of how I see it. The gimmicks just become repetitive. So I, I guess that means that Brodus Clay is like Godfather and Flash Funk combined together, which. Is a really weird synthesis when I think about it. Since Brodus Clay is like, initially he's supposed to be like this guy leaning towards him being Mexican and shit because he's with ADR, but then under leading him towards his blacks half, so that's kind of weird. Make up your mind. Throughout the show, they're hyping up. What's going to happen between WrestleMania and Mike Tyson? So, Mike Tyson's like go to guys talking about that shit. Really is cool. But, I mean, I would be hype if Mike Tyson was coming to Raw and I was a Raw fan at the time. Like, let's say I was like 14 or some shit and I was like watching that shit. I'd be really interesting. I would be really interested in shit, but. If I was like 14, I'd probably watch WCW around this time. Which is why that'd probably be the last Mr. Wonka 7 video ever. Hopefully. If like meteors aren't hitting me while I'm like recording and saying shit. That'd be a good. That'd be a good idea. Okay, hold on. And this itself, a tag team match between the Headbangers and, oh, you didn't know, your ass better call somebody. This is back when they were in DX, or Degeneration X, it was fucking Road Warriors, no, not the war Road Warriors. Road Dog, Jesse James, and Billy Gunn. I know their names individually. Hold on. Ah, I'm just typing shit. Ah, what the fuck? I swear, half these reviews are me trying to remember names. That's what it is. 
fucking what do you expect? New Age Outlaws. New Age Outlaws. Fucking New World Order, New Age Outlaws. Fucking It's all a sign of the end to come. Who can blame me for like getting them mixed up? Alright. So now this is probably like I'm not surprised this is a main event match because it's definitely one of the best of this episode. As of 98, definitely. Hell yeah, this was a good fucking match. You got the badass Billy Gunn, Road Dog Jesse James. The Headbangers, granted, I don't think they they look all too different from most of those guys in the Attitude Era. But they do look badass, and that's the point. They wear their skirts and shit. They have the shaved heads. They look kind of like extreme skinheads or some shit. Except, in a way, kind of face. The face version of that. If you can make that into a face thing. And put it on trash TV. But it is cool nonetheless. And finally, we're going to have the whole, the real main event, which is Shawn Michaels basically calling out The Undertaker. The Druids come along, and Undertaker's theme and Titantron play. I was hoping it would be the Ministry theme, but that doesn't happen yet, unfortunately. That doesn't happen yet, so. Of course, this happens, and Shawn Michaels is like, oh, you guys are just playing jokes on me, China and Hunter, Triple H. He, he's like checking the casket because it's all vandalized by DX not too long ago. But then China and Hunter show up and when Michael sees it, he's like, okay, but if you guys are up there, then who's down here? Then it's Undertaker and he basically chokes down Shawn Michaels and... Brings him down to the casket and closes it. It just looks kind of gay. It's like they're about to like make sweet post prom, post graduation love in that fucking that fucking uh, casket. But it's kind of what happens. I'm guessing they're trying to go for something scary and cartoonish, but it came off as gay around this time. It, it, you can't have shit like that when. You have the attitude error going on. That, that's kind of why I felt that Ministry of Darkness shit was a necessary transition. Fuck. Like. Either you're gonna point out homophobic shit or you're gonna fucking. All the time or just never identify it at all. Can't like do that shit. If you were in that one. In the Hogan era. When Hogan was on top, that would have made sense because we would think, oh, he's probably getting his ass kicked or some creepy shit is going on in the casket. Where now, around then, it'd be easy to assume, oh, there's some gay shit going on. Fucking dragging him into the cas casket, choking him down there. What's happening? Why did he close it? What What are they doing? Why is there struggling? Maybe I just have a perverted mind. Maybe that's it. Oh no, this was actually a good episode. Um, I'm not as tired, so I'm not like going out the clock and or watching it. There were a lot of people in this episode that I was extremely apathetic to. However, it's not as much of a problem as now in Raw and SmackDown, where not only are the people that I'm really apathetic to, but if I'm not apathetic, most likely I fucking can't stand them. Hashtag Hornswoggle, Great Collie, and all these other people that just need to get released. And stay released. I don't want to see these people. Hell no. Fucking Hornswoggle ruining everything. I mean, they jumped a shark with Hornswoggle. It, there's just like no, it's a point of no return. We're it's just gonna get worse and worse. They need to get rid of these guys. Everyone else, even though I don't care for them, 
back then, all of these people. At least the people I do care for, I care for them in a positive way. They contribute to me actually being entertained and shit, so that's kind of how I see it.